This is one of the most amazing habitats in the whole of Europe. We have some of the best bird watching anywhere in Europe. But what many people don't appreciate is it's also a wonderful habitat for insects and for other wildlife. And one of the things that saddens me when I'm working here is that many people don't seem to appreciate that this is a habitat that has to be protected. If we don't treat it with respect, we will destroy it. And coming from England, I can tell you, we don't have habitats as beautiful as this left in England. We have already destroyed them all. I would be very unhappy to see Greece make the same mistakes that we have made in England. It's better to learn from our mistakes and to protect these habitats before it's gone. We have our gifts and it's natural for every species to think of itself as the most important. We think we are but, I expect, the birds, any species of bird thinks that it is important. And we all think like this, but we need to remember that we are all parts of a thing. If my foot decided, oh, I don't like my brain anymore, I'm going a different way, I am not going to work in harmony with the rest of the body, my body would collapse and it wouldn't work. It would be like cancer. And in many ways, humanity has become a cancer on the planet. I think birds, uh, they look at us and they think, ah, they are the poor crazy ones who don't know what they're doing, don't know what they're living for. Also, maybe they, because crazy people you know a crazy person is dangerous, and the birds know we are dangerous because we are crazy. I came to Lake Kikini because I looked for somewhere where there was good bird watching. The birds are my first love. I have always loved birds, and they are very beautiful, intelligent animals. I came here on holidays. It was so beautiful. I went home. I gave my notice into my job, and three months later, I came back here to live. I believe that the whole planet is a single living thing, and that we are part of that living thing. We are not the masters, we are just one part of it. We have a role to play in the life of the planet. I work all my life. My website, my writing, my poetry is all about getting people to understand that we need to live in harmony with the planet, work together with nature. When we are part of nature, when we reject nature, when we fight nature, when we try to dominate nature, we are alienating ourselves. We push ourselves away from the very forces that created us.
If mankind's soul is able to find peace, this war against himself must surely cease, and man accept himself as just one piece of a far greater whole. This would increase his understanding and decrease his fear and set him free to enjoy his lease of life before it runs to its surcease.